Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Grim Legacy Challenge where if you didn't watch the last episode, you're probably very confused as to what all this is right now. Um, it is Harvest Fest Day. Um, we got a little rule, like an uh, unspoken rule, well spoken many a times at this point, in this family that uh, we don't get rid of the gnomes after every holiday. We just add to them every holiday and throw them back in every Harvest Fest. And uh, yeah, this is how many we're up to right now. This is our third Harvest Fest in the game at this point. And, uh, yeah, this, this is where we currently are with them. So, uh, we still got a lot of the day to go here at Harvest Fest. Um, we've already had our family over for the, like, our extended family. Uh, our brother and his kids, his wife, decided not to show up for some reason, even though we went out of our way to have a relationship with her and all that fun stuff. But she decided that she didn't want to come. So now we've just got, uh, the kids... And our main sims left to uh, finish out this holiday party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For some reason, we're playing holiday music. I think, like, not really holiday music, but it, but it, it, it's holiday music. It, it's holiday music. Is she like, like, what kind of skills is she getting here with that? I guess that's motor skill going up. Or wait, he's dancing right now, so he's actually getting. Yeah, that's motor. Okay, so that's motor skill. But he's at near his maximum, I think. I don't know how high he's can get with those skills, but... I mean, you guys, you, you do your thing. You do you. You you dance the night. These kids are loving dancing right now. Like, they're living for it. What is she doing? Is she napping? She just went straight up to sleep. She's like, I'm over it. I'm done with this. Oh, wait, shoot. Alice made more crafts, and I didn't even realize it. You go, Alice. She is such a crafty kid. But uh, the, the holiday's almost over, so we really don't need any more crafts. We already have hers up on the wall here. Can we throw some more out? Oh, she did other crafts. Wait, can we put it over the door? <gasps> look at how nice this is going to look. Look at that. Such a crafty kid. So many seeds and so many gnomes. Oh, my lord almighty. My lord, look at this. This is wild. Wow, everyone is going to sleep early, it looks like. That's cool, though. Um, is she in bed? Yes, she's in bed. Where's he at? He is... Who made a mess? Who made this mess? I don't know who made that mess, but someone made a mess. Oh, my word. Uh, we, will, we will collect all of the seeds. Take your guesses now as to how many seed packets we got here, because, dang, there is a lot around this place. Is he going to bed? Yeah, he is going to bed. How is he doing? He's, he's pretty good all around for the most part. I mean, he does he could use a shower, so maybe we will send him into the shower. Just so that, you know, he's good come the morning. Because they do have to go back to school tomorrow morning, obviously. I mean, they're kids. And, oh no, she is passed out in the bath. But that's okay, at least she's getting her hygiene. She's getting her hygiene and her energy up at the same time. So it's a win-win situation, I guess. Maybe? I guess. Um, I, I don't know what happened to all the gnomes. They were here, and then they went poof, and I'm really afraid to see what it looks like upstairs right now. Oh, God. Where'd they all go? Where are all the gnomes? Oh, okay, there they are. Oh, phew. There's a party going on down at the nightclub right now. We know we don't want that, but look at this. Look at the gnomes in front of the TV set. Okay, this is actually a good place to be able to count them all, how many we currently have. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We currently have 14 gnomes that we have collected over the past three holidays. Two we accidentally bought. I didn't mean to buy them, but we did. So that's just, they're there now. They're, they're part of the family. They're part of the collection. The gnome, the gnome lection. Oh my word. So many gnomes. All right. Harvest Fest is officially over. So we gotta do some cleanup here, because oh my god. Uh, successful, successful. I know everyone had a successful day. I made sure of it. So now it's time to wave goodbye to the gnomes for another year and uh, clean up. So this is your last chance to, to place your bets on how many seed packets we actually have here. Spoiler, it's gonna be a lot. Okay, I think I finally collected everything. 
ultimately we ended up with 31 summer plants, 27 spring plants, 22 winter plants, and 26 fall plants. So that's a lot of plants. Um, I don't know if I want to open these and sell the stuff that I get from them or save them. For now, they're just going to live in Kengo's inventory. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe you guys can help me make that call. Do you think I should open these and sell and make a profit off of whatever comes out of them? Or do you think that I should save them for the future when we might eventually have a sim that's got a green thumb? Uh, comment below. Actually, comment. Let me know you're watching this. <laughs> It's like 2.30 in the morning and one of our kids is up. Who is this? Alice is up. She went to sleep really, really super early. So now she's like wide awake. So we might as well get her all done up with all of our stuff. Get her needs up. So eat. She will take a shower. She will use the potty. Uh, just so we can get her up because she will have to go to work. Not work. She will have to go to school. Well, school is kind of work. Um, he is also wide awake, but he's in there doing a beautiful pop art painting. Aren't you, like, level, like, high in, in painting, and this is what you give us at this point? You're level six painting, and this is a level six painting? Mm-hmm. Right, he has to keep creating paintings, though, so that he can eventually get another promotion at work. Um, so, yeah, you just, you do you, man. You, you paint away. I died! Wait, you guys! My self-sim died! I'm dead! Oh no! I'm dead. I'm the first one of the... of the... YNIN inserted self-sims to die. It was me. I was the first one to fall. Which means the others probably aren't too far behind, so... Stay tuned for the death of Matt, Nikki, and Cody. Oh, wow. I just realized that, like, she can actually choose what kind of craft she wants to make? Like, really? I'm curious about this now. Oh, we just got a wall of people being born and married and so on and so forth like that. But, wow. I'm really interested now to see what she can do. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, you know what? Winterfest is coming up soon. This kid, wait, she needs to shower. In. Not yet, but I'm definitely gonna play around with that. All right, let's see. Baby, 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 death. Oh, that wasn't a lot. Of, that wasn't a lot for once. Usually, there's a lot more of that kind of stuff. Why are you like wearing? Were you outside? When were you outside? Was he just outside? All right, now is a bit more of a reasonable time for people to actually be awake in the house. And now Scheherazade is awake, which is fun. Eating cake. <laughs> Get that nutrition. And I did send Alice upstairs just because I'm really interested to see what kind of craft she makes. Like, Winterfest craft. Like, this is going to be potentially interesting. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know what she's going to do, but we're going to find out. Our creative one. Okay, Peter's up. Peter's hungry, and he's got a pee. So actually, before you eat, Peter, go potty. Then come on downstairs and eat, because there's plenty of leftovers. You, you'll be done eating first. So after you're done eating, uh, clean out the spoiled food. Sell your painting for... You know what? Let's, let's keep his, his fame going up. We're going to work on that. He's confident. Can he actually... Can he draw a confident painting now? He may be able to make a confident painting if he comes in here and he does this. All right, so it actually looks like clean out spoiled food. So you don't actually clean out the spoiled food. Finish eating really quick so that we can we can have you sell that. Because I want to see if we can make... Because we need to make... To get his aspiration up. I don't really pay attention to the aspirations, even though I should. But he needs to make an emotional painting, which I think he can do. Yes, confident painting. Good, good, good. Stop eating. Quick. Before, th before the confidence goes away. No! Very inspired. Can we still do it? Can we still make a confident painting at this point? Because I really need you to make a confident painting. It's because this is on, isn't it? Um, disable the emotional aura and see if maybe that brings us back to confident again. No, he's happy! Can we make a happy painting? We can't, but can we... Will we still... 
No. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out if this works out in the end. Alright, he's eating. Okay, good. She's good. She... Oh, look at that. We're going to save that. We're going to put that in your inventory, and we are going to save that for Christmas, kiddo. Take a, I want her to take a really quick nap before she goes to school, though, just so she can kind of get her, her levels back up again. How is she doing? I, always, I, I bought this dinosaur, and she's done nothing with it at this point. I do believe that is a confident painting. That's good, because... Because we need a confident painting for his aspiration. We need we need two other emotional ones as well, too. So, gotta keep an eye on that. Oh. Right. You are going to school? Yep. Okay, you need to wake up from your nap so that you can go. I just wanted to give her just a little extra boost of energy, maybe possibly. There we go. And then get rid of that as well. Whoop. Nope. Nope. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to toss it in there then. <laughs> Oh, 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 he's got confidence up again. Maybe we can do... Did that first one count? It did! Stop talking to your wife and start another confident painting. Yes, yes. Fulfill your aspirational destiny. I don't know how far off from her book, because she's been writing this book for a really long time, and yet she's still writing it, and it's still not finished. Ooh, musical volunteering. Briar Rose is sitting with her class in assembly when the music teacher asks for a volunteer. The teacher is looking right at her, but Briar Rose can see how excited the kid next to her is to go up on stage. Should Briar Rose take the chance or send... Yeah. Take the chance, kid. Uh-oh. Oh. Up to the front, Briar Rose goes, or the teacher hands her some symbols. Clash bang, she makes so much noise she doesn't even notice the teacher's cries for her to stop. Not until the principal snatches the symbols away. Oops, what do you want? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alice started a food fight in the cafeteria, causing most of the students to join in. We're still cleaning up. What a natural leader. She should help clean. Absolutely she should help clean. I'm, I must admit, I really do like the added stuff with the kids. I, I think it was from the Parenthood pack. I definitely recommend it just for that stuff alone. All right, we got another book, which means we need to take it out and we need to make a copy of it, create a copy so that we can send it out. Oh, uh oh, another one. Oddly heated discussion. An artist who uses odd mediums such as dirty bath water and curdled milk is always trying to engage Kengo in a heated discussion. Should Kengo argue art theory with her or ignore her? Ignore her. That's some dumb stuff. All right, which means let us put this in our inventory and put it over here and we are selling it to a publisher. Sell to publisher. The Queen of Serpents. And then we'll put the other Queen of Serpents. The ex It's an excellent quality short story. Yes. All right. And we'll pop that in there. So now we have another one. It's like, how many books do we have in here? I, unfortunately, I wish that we had actually, like, gotten. Because we only have six. Uh-oh. Did we lose five? Apparently, I missed five. We have four, five, and six in here. The other ones, I didn't know that you had to make copies of them before you do that. But we have to write more books. So, let's get another one written. <gasps> A motivate... <gasps> fantasy books! Yes. Yes, we can start writing fantasy books! No. All right, now that we can actually start writing fantasy books, I think we can start using some of the more fanciful titles that I have uh, put aside. So this next one, Tale 8 of 1001, is going to be The Adventures with the Lady and the Bear. Actual story from the 1001 Arabian Nights book. All right. I'm really excited because this may be the day that she actually gets a promotion to the next level. Because the next level is novelist. And that's pretty exciting. Huh. I'd love to see her, see her reach the top of her career because her mother never actually did. Hey, look at her thinking about her family member, even though he calls all the time wanting to hang out, and we never do. Because we, because he's lame. 
he, he's lame. All right, and off to work she goes. And still looking like there's no alien baby, which is still awesome. That was still something lingering in the back of my mind. That's something that we might have to face. Oh, turn that off. That's going to bring up our... Oops, somebody else died. Ooh, Silver Screen Simoleons. Scheherazade's latest novel is burning at the San Giorno Times bestseller list. The royalty spent book sales have provided a steady income, but a phone call she just received could easily be her most lucrative opportunity yet. A producer from Plum Bob Pictures reached out to express interest in adapting her novel into a blockbuster film. Unfortunately, they insist that she couldn't retain creative control over the final screenplay. Is it worth sacrificing her, her artistic freedom? Sell the movie rights. It is... She gains fame and money. Decline the deal. Um, fame and money. Duh. Oh my god. Yeah, invite over Chad. That was weird. Look, at our kids are our kids are one. Um, she is now a rising star because she got the fame. She's become a recognizable rising star. She earned two more fame points that she can use to purchase fame perks. Oh yeah, uh huh. A trilogy is born. Shahrazad signs over the rights to her hit novel for a big screen adaptation. The studio's producer immediately calls a celebratory press conference, proclaiming that she just landed their next tentpole franchise. With members of the media hanging on his every word, he goes on to tease that they're still all eagerly awaiting the second in second entry in the series to discover what happens next. Scheherazade's jaw drops. What series? Is that novel was supposed to be the one and done? Scheherazade better get back to writing to keep the new audience of insatiable fans Oh my god. This is so awesome. This is great. That's kind of what I was looking for. I mean, it is a series, you know? Brian Rose is done for the week. She's doing well, but it wouldn't hurt to go the extra mile. Perhaps the weekend could be a good time to do so. I, I didn't read what the rest of the kids' stuff was. Um, Alice is the f is not the first C student at Landgrab Elementary School, and surely won't be the last. Wouldn't be the weekend. Be a great time to bump her grades up. Basically, they're just saying just get get the kids get the kids going with more stuff. Okay, let's um. Like more stuff I'm not talking about. Um, let's get the kids actually. Is that Chad Grimm? Is that our cousin? That is our cousin. But we're gonna all do our homework now. It's the after school tradition that we all do our homework. Get with the kids. Homework away. Why is she doing her homework out in the rain? Like Really, Briar Rose? Like, you're doing your homework out in the pouring rain. Okay. Do not go out in the rain. Okay, good. I was like, hey, girl, if you go out in the rain, are you guys going to do homework together? Hey, as long as she's doing her homework, I don't care if he talks to her. Go right ahead. Yeah, kid, you are going to be sick because you're out in the rain. Why is our child reading a mixology book? Peter, why do you have a mixology book? Do you want to answer me, Peter? P Peter, Peter, you're a little kid. Well, actually, today's your birthday. You're becoming a teenager today. So when your mom gets home, we're going to make you a cake, and he's going to become a teenager that reads mixology books. He is going to be a party animal, I think. I think I just caught our cousin, like, making fun of us, and yet they went up in, in a relationship, so I guess it's okay. And she's still out in the rain. Like a dummy. Okay. Okay, good job, Peter. He's hungry as well. So guess what? Get your leftovers, kiddo. We still have all of our decorations out from uh, from the holiday. We'll wait one more day. We'll keep them out. And then when, uh, when winter starts, we will take them away. And we'll put up our winter fest stuff. Did she finish her homework? Okay, she did. Good. And these two, they're, they're going up in, in friendship? Oh, they're playing make-believe when you should be doing your homework, kid. 
<gasps> Spice Festival! Yes, Spice Festival. You know what that means. It means it's time for our kids to play the Spice Challenge. You meanwhile have to... Oh, he's really tired. Um, Actually, why don't you go upstairs and take a quick nappy nap? Take a nap. And then, oh, Spice Festival is my favorite. Oh, poor Alice is really tired. But buck up, kid, because you got to go take the Spice Challenge soon. Can kids take the Spice Challenge? I hope they can. Let's see if they can. Yes! Come on, kids. Let's see who is able to actually do it. This is a tradition. This is a family tradition. We have to see who really is the strongest stomach in the in the household. All right, looks like Briar Rose is the first one's going to attempt it. Yeah, so Briar Rose is going to be the first one to attempt it. Who will be able to stand the, withstand the spice? I know it's raining. I know it's raining. I know it's raining. But we got to see who can do this. All right, so here comes her sister, and now it is Alice's turn to attempt the spicy food challenge. Oh, that's a good... Oh, 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 I think she failed. Alice failed the spicy food challenge. Maybe Briar Rose didn't fail. She's still going. Oh, no, Briar Rose did it! Briar Rose made it through. She can now brag about being the curry champion. Briar Rose has completed the challenge. You need to go take a nap. You need to go home. Go home and go to sleep. Go home. Now it's Peter's turn. Can Peter complete the spicy challenge? Right, you also need to go home. Oh, he's breathing fire. But, uh, oh, he failed too. Peter has failed the spicy food challenge. So the only one with a stomach strong enough to pass the spicy food challenge ended up being Briar Rose. She is now a curry champion, even though she looks really distressed about it. <laughs> oh, and she's sick, which means guess what? Medicine time. Take your medication. Use. And. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's like, she's doing the pee walk. And then you can go to sleep after that. You just need to straight up go to sleep. Oh, Peter is still out and about over here. He's like having a good time. He's talking to people. Who are you, dude? Okay, bye. All right, why don't you head home now, actually? And how's your dad doing? Your dad's hungry. Uh, when, d dude, the spice festival is going on. You get free food. So, like, come on over here and eat some free food. All right, she's just napping. She really should go, like, full to sleep. But we'll let her nap. And then after she naps, we will have her get leftovers. Because by the time she wakes up, the spice festival, I'm not going to make her go out to the spice festival again. But then she will go on to sleep after that. And how's she doing? She's like all around good. Is she gonna? She, she's gonna straight up sleep. That's okay. Uh, Peter. Fire. Peter really needs to pee. So, Whoa. dude, go pee. Go. His energy, his hygiene is. Uh, we're just gonna top up his hygiene then. And then after we top up his hygiene, then it's to bed for him as well. All right. Meanwhile, we're out here. God. Weather and the and the and the festivals like seasons and and. City living do not blend well when it's raining in the middle of one of these awesome festivals. Oh, hey, Shahrazad got a promotion. And she's got a pee and she's hungry. So guess what? We're going to head on over to the festival. We're going to just click and go so we can travel here. Okay, so which one of these is vegetarian safe? No. 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 Are any of these? None of these are vegetarian safe, so we actually can't have any of those. So just come inside the house and have something else. Oh, wait. Oh, it's Peter's birthday. We completely forgot about it. Oh, we need to make him a cake really quick. Um, cook. Uh, cake, 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 cake. 
Mm, no, not that kind of cake. Uh, let's just do a, a, a white cake. I want to finish this out with our kid's birthday, so we'll actually toss him on a nap really quick while we while we cook his cake. All right, we got ourselves a cake. So that means it is time to age up and get our first team. So really quick, let us add those birthday candles. Alice, you're not actually going to eat that food now because your brother's about to get some cake. And you can have your brother the cake with your brother. And we will blow out candles for Arthur. You can keep, the others can keep sleeping. But Arthur, come on over here and blow out your candles or your cake. At least your brother and your sister are here. As you, as you go right through the, the counter. There we go. And now he's a teenager. Peter Pan has aged up. Robot. Let's see what we're going to end up getting here. So let's first roll his trait and then pick out an aspiration for him. So he's already got the mean trait. And again, we're looking for something that's kind of in line with the idea of Peter Pan. And I like the idea of like a kind of dark Peter Pan. So we may roll this a couple of times until we get something that seems appropriate. So let's roll a few times. So really quick, the, just the first initial one, two, three, and then we'll pick something nice. So one, two, three. Three. Romantic? Peter Pan is not a romantic. No way. But he is childish. That's a really good one for him. So he's mean and he's childish. We're keeping that one. That's a good one. So now picking his aspiration. So I feel like Peter, like, does Peter want to be popular? Um, knowledgeable? He's definitely not knowledgeable. Does he want to be? <gasps> oh, he is so so gonna be master of mischief that is so his initial one that is so i the idea of peter pan that is great he aged up pretty cute for a teenager look at him look at you first thing he does immediately immediately is check his phone um come on over here and pick up a serving immediately look at the Look at his, like, starter clothes that he, like, like aged into. That is such a weird outfit. Look at those pants. Maybe it works with him. I don't know. Maybe this might be, like, the start of his personality. But uh, we're just going to let him go to sleep in what he's wearing now. And then um, we will get him a little bit of an upgrade because I mean like he's sleeping in his kids bed and he's got his kids nightlight on so we will take some time at the beginning of the next episode to really make him a full-on teenager and go with this I like this idea I like the idea of going with master of mischief for Peter Pan so thank you so much for watching this episode of the Grim Legacy Challenge and we'll see you and we'll see a much more mature Peter Pan in the next episode